Hey guys, so here's our JLT cold air intake kit here. Uh, it includes our pipe here. Um, the particular thing that I got with mine was a water separator as well, just because with the sport hood, there's a lot of water and snow that tends to fall in there if I go through an automatic car wash. Touches, of course. Uh, a little plexiglass there, filter there, elbow here. This piece probably goes through the throttle body there and the casing for it there as well it also includes some instructions which i lost one page shouldn't be a big deal and obviously my goddamn stinker perfect so we're gonna go ahead and get that installed in here and remove some of this plastic stuff here i know there's a few other videos online as well but i'll just make videos as well here some people find the tutorial useful so we'll do that again so i think this should be all the tools that we need here uh just looking at it so i got a Obviously a ratchet, uh, a small extension, 8 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, flathead screwdriver, and a trim pry tool. So let's get started and see if uh, we're going to need some other tools here as well. And we'll start just by removing the oil cap and our little Hemi engine cover here as well. Just pull up and pull off there. Go. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to loosen this clamp here. And we're going to be using our 8mm to remove that. Loosen that one there. We're going to loosen this one here. And we might as well just loosen this one here as well. one hand here. Is there anything else holding anything in there? I don't think so. Oh yeah, we also have the uh, the IAT sensor to unplug. Should be able just to push in on here and unplug that there. Sorry. Focus, yeah. Push there. There it is. So now that's unplugged. All right. Okay, so we also do have to remove the IAT sensor as well here. I just got my tripod set up to make things a little bit easier. Uh, if you recall on my TRX video installing the AFE Momentum GT intake, I had broken this when removing it. So hopefully that doesn't go around this time here as well. It looks like I just got to twist that. Oh, sorry, twist that to remove it. So I'm going to try to twist it a little bit and see if it pops out there. Oh my god, I think it is. Perfect. Do you see that? All it is just turning counterclockwise to remove it. Thank god. Awesome. All right, let's continue here. Don't forget to put your oil cap back on. Probably best not just leave it hanging around because I'm going to knock it over. I'm going to lose it. Uh, a bird may come shit in there or die in there. I don't know. So just put the cap back on as well when you're done. We also got this rubber hose here. So we'll just go ahead and remove that. That is obviously going to be going onto our JLT intake as well. Take that off there. And we are going to remove this little fella from here as well. So I'm just going to pop the air filter open here first. Try to see here, take that out. That Mopar filter, it's got less than 5K on it, so it really shouldn't be dirty at all. Okay, and we'll just kind of take you guys and show you guys inside there as well. Sorry, I just removed the air box lid there, and that was fairly simple as well. Just two clamps here. I'll uh, pull the lid off. There's a huge glare. Sorry, there we go. And um, we are going to just, I think we're just going to pull up on this uh, box, and it should just pop right out as well. One thing to be aware of, it is all one unit here as well. So we're going to pull it up and take that out there. Just mount you back in here.
We're gonna use our pry tool here. There's a little clip here as well for our uh, tube. Or sorry for our scoop there. I'll just take some weather stripping off of that there. All right. Let's get a shot of this. Whole lot of nothingness there. I left one of the grommets behind there. We'll take that. I don't think that's going to have any effect on the JLT airbox. It's poking around there. Neat. All right, let's go get box here. Okay, this looks like it'll probably go something like this here. Yep. Okay. So this is our 13 mil bolt here. We're gonna go ahead and take that off as well to put this in there. And that should just sit in there and we'll re-secure that back with that bolt. long bolt. Slight struggles here. We'll make it happen. So just showing you what I just kind of looked at here. So one thing that's kind of weird, um, that's the way it's designed. So this piece here does definitely impede a little bit on the intake here as well, but I mean, it just sits on it anyways. Uh, also, I see that there's two holes, fuck me. There's two holes in the uh, the box there, and the two holes there, that's meant for some pushpin clips. However, I was not sent any with the kit, but that's all right. So we'll just go ahead and set that back in there, and we'll re-secure that bolt there, and just move along. Slide that in under your little weather stripping there. Take our bolt here, push this down a little bit there. We'll go ahead and tighten that back up now. Perfect. Minus some missing clips there. So we also have our weather stripping with the push pin. We'll push that in there for now. Okay, we'll move on to our next step. So we're gonna grab our 90 here as well, which is in our picture. However, this particular piece doesn't, uh, I don't see where this piece is gonna go on here. It may have been sent additionally as I'm still missing my two clips, but no big deal. But we'll go ahead and see what we're gonna do next. But I think we're gonna grab our 90 degree. Should probably go something like that. I guess I'll take the clamps off here because no clamps on that 90. And we'll take this as well. Put that there. Oh yeah, we do have to transfer our IT, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Put that there. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit awkward here. I'm just going to... Tripod to make things easier putting this back in. Let's push that in there. Have it fully seated so your O-ring is that was on your IT is fully in there now as well, okay? Sweet. Yeah, there's really nothing that, that shows that it locks are secured. It's just using the friction of the rubber that keeps it in place there. So let's take these clamps off here. Once again, I don't see where this is supposed to go. It's three, three and a half to four inch silicone coupler, but I'll go ahead and we will just put this on here. Should just slide on there, hopefully. Perfect. Take our larger clamp. Put that on here. Let's 
loosen up a bit. Once again, we're going to be using our 8mm again. Uh, also, a flathead screwdriver will also work just fine. Make things a little easier. Have you seen that good? Okay. Perfect. And I will not snug that up yet. I'll just kind of leave it there for now. Take your other clamp here. Loosen up as well because it is a little too small right now. Put that on there. You go ahead and take through there. And put that onto there, so that should be all right. We didn't tighten it up yet because we just want to make sure everything seats properly. Everything first, but I will go ahead and tighten these up now. Go ahead and plug in our IAT here. It's again pretty straightforward, just plugs right into your sensor. And we might also get the filter and put it on there now as well. Move that over there. Ooh, that satisfaction of removing that plastic. All right, so we can put our clamp on our filter here. Keep your metal end facing down, just looks aesthetically pleasing there. I just disconnected from the throttle by there. Didn't hit play because you know I'm smart like that. Put this puppy back through here. To you. Put you there. Maybe, maybe not. That's a nice fit, and just like that there. Might take you less time than me, you know. Some of us have uh, some difficulties. There we go. Go ahead and put your piece back on there, your throttle body. That there, that there. That looks all right, as good as we're gonna get her there. Um, also. Um, I just removed the whole IAT. That, that may not be right. You may just want to unplug it, but that's what I did, and I'm just going to reinsert it again. Go. We're just going to go ahead and tighten this clamp back up as well here. Perfect. And we'll tighten up our clamp on our air filter as well. We're still using our 8 mil here again. Last step to this is we're just going to reconnect our rubber hose here. I mean, this is pretty basic, but I will just show you. Anyways, just take your rubber hose, put that onto there. Oh, I missed the whole. Th Sorry, this it hasn't been a good day for camera angles on the sun. Apparently, in my face. Anyway, so we got the intake installed here. The last piece is going to be using the plexiglass. Uh, we're going to remove that there on the plexiglass. You're just supposed to shield some of the filter there. As I said, I do have that water separator as well. However, I will just wait till winter before I put that in. So no big deal. We'll go ahead and put this piece on right now. How's that going to go? Something like that there, huh? Okay, let's see here. So we'll just go ahead and use our 8mm to loosen this here. I said 8 mil, but it looks like a 10 mil. So let me go get that. We'll pause. Let's try that again. Hopefully with a 10. Perfect. That's satisfaction. Satisfactory removing that plastic protective cover from the. Yeah. Okay. I 
think it's got to go something like that. So apparently this piece just goes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a shape thing? You fully. Yeah. Is that how it's supposed to go? Well, that's kind of sucky. If you see that there, I mean, the plexiglass does cover a significant amount of the vent there. But, I mean, we are trying to keep water out of it as well. So, I mean, I guess I'll do it just because it makes sense for it. For the most part, everything is going to be in real time for this video. You probably do this in like 20 minutes or so. Nothing too snug, you don't want to crack that. It's probably good there. Is that the right way? Does that look like the right way? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just leaving it out. But anyway, so that's our JLT cold air intake installed. There isn't a whole lot to it there. Uh, once again, I'm still left over with this extra silicone coupler and missing two push pins for in there as well. However, um, I do have their catch can on the T-Rex there, and it's been great. I always got to constantly empty it, which is fine. But that's what it's designed for. But yeah, it uh, seems to be, as well as their other stuff, fairly good quality. No issues besides missing parts or extra parts there. Other than that, we'll uh, go and start it up right now, and we'll see if we have any check engine lights on, but we shouldn't. But I'll just move some of those tools out of the way first. One last thing I'll mention is there was that screw that we did remove from there, which is not required to go back in there because there's no air filter boxes holding it, so I'll just leave that out. Okay, we'll just go ahead and fire it up. We shouldn't have any check engine lights or anything like that. It shouldn't be a thing. starts up nicely i'm gonna put the camera outside there and we'll rev it up a bit and see if it sounds a little bit different as well uh it should match fairly well with the borla exhaust that's installed here too we'll rev it up and see how it sounds Now we've got the hood closed. I feel like that is a little bit counterproductive of things for this intake and the functional hood scoop. But once again, we'll leave it for the time being just because it does go through quite a bit of washes and that filter is gonna get pretty wet there. Um, it does have some of that protection that's there now, but you get a better idea of what that is. Or I just have that piece installed and totally wrong. It's really one or the other. But there we go. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this vehicle, fuck me. If you enjoyed this video, Give me a thumbs up if you found it useful or anything like that. If you didn't, go off yourself because I don't care. But otherwise, I do it for the people who like this kind of stuff. Thanks, guys. Peace. Last, last thing. You may have noticed the amber lights that are on there, and that is because of the Taser DT that I have installed in here. Um, I really just have it installed for the lights and in order to put the windows down with the key fob as well. But I think it, uh, it suits the vehicle a little bit better, and it matches T-Rex when they're driving side by side maybe which never happens but that's why they're it's orange cool or amber bye